I would really like Sherry's body to be found or her remains. Michelle Kish doesn't think her sister is ever coming back, but it's hard to move forward when she doesn't have answers. At this point, it's just been so long, and I think we just need closure for that, and we want to give her a proper funeral and burial and whatnot. Sherry was last seen leaving her mum's farm after lunch on December 7th. She was a gravel hauler. Her semi-truck was found abandoned in the gravel pit where she worked. Years passed with no news. But then, charges were laid. Greg Furtuck was arrested without incident on the outskirts of Saskatoon. Greg Furtuck is Sherry's estranged husband. He was the target of an undercover police operation. He told the officers he threw Sherry's body in the bush. But now he says he lied because he was afraid of the undercover police. I told them I got rid of Sherry and stuff like that and the thing there. But that was all, all made up because I thought they were going to get rid of me. The RCMP operation used a controversial technique, a Mr Big Sting. The method has drawn criticism for potentially inducing false confessions. A preliminary hearing for the case will be held in January. Greg Furtak is behind bars while he waits. Michelle Kish says she plans to attend the hearing. She knows it might be hard to hear the details but she's happy the charges have been laid. We want whoever did this to her to be convicted and put in jail for a very long time. Sherry's youngest sister, Tika White, says she hopes the case can lead the family to find her sister. But she worries they will never know the full story. Will we ever know, like, the exact truth? I don't know. Greg Furtuck's next court appearance begins on January 13th. Alicia Bridges, CBC News, Saskatoon.